Hey everybody, Jason here with a quick demo of some of the new views in Big Box um, that we just put out in 6.0 Beta 6. I just put out that earlier out this earlier today. Uh, we've been working through a lot of this stuff in the live development sessions, uh, but I thought I'd let everybody know that this is out and show everybody what we have here so far for Big Box uh, 6.0. Uh, so what you're looking at right now is the new uh, sort of hyperspin-esque um, wheel for the platforms. Um, this is the only new uh, view we've added at this point for the platforms, but we do plan to add more eventually. They may make it into the, the 6.0 release. They may not. Uh, but this was the next view that we've, that we've just implemented here for the platforms. Just a simple, uh, simple hyperspin-type wheel. Uh, we have a keyboard shortcut that you can specify to switch the views on the fly. So this is back to the old view and then back to the new uh, the new wheel views. Uh, I'll go, go ahead and get into the options here for a second and show those off a little bit. Under the games list, we have games list view and you can switch between cover flow and horizontal boxes with details and text list with details, and we'll get into those in a second. Uh, switch back to cover flow there. And then if I go down to filters list, we have our platforms list view options. And we just looked at these two. We have text list and we have the vertical clear logo wheel there. So those are the view options. And then also under general, we have some new options here for the cover flow image quality. Um, so we can specify the quality of those cover flow images and we have cover flow reflection opacity. So you can specify the opacity of the reflection. So we'll take a look at the cover flow stuff here. If we load up, let's go down to NES, load that up. You'll see because we changed the um, quality, this stuff is all these these images need to need to repopulate here. But we have cover flow working well here. Um, and you see the reflection on the bottom can be adjusted with the reflection opacity setting. And then also the quality of these images can be adjusted mostly for, for performance reasons. The lower the quality, uh, the faster the cover flow will be. I'll go back here. Well, actually, let's go back in. Let's use a different platform. Let's go into, for example, let's go to Sega Genesis. And we can switch up the view on the fly just like the other one. So here's another example view. This is one of the other new views. Um, and all of these now have alphanumeric navigation here as well built into them so it's quick to navigate to a particular area of the alphabet. Let's go back. Let's go into say uh, Dreamcast. And I'm going to switch up the view. There's the old, the, the, or the view that was that is still the default. And then switch it up again and we get our cover flow. And in the cover flow we have the alphanumeric navigation as well. And you see those images popping in because it's doing the cache here as well. So that is basically the new stuff that we got. We have this nice little wheel here. And of course the old style view is still here. And that's about it for the new views for Big Box so far. Uh, we're getting pretty close to being able to open this up so, so users can work on their own views. Uh, we probably won't see that before 6.0, before the official release, but we'll see that soon. And uh, we hope to add a, a lot more uh, additional views as well. Let us know your feedback on what we've added. And we look forward to seeing you guys in the next live development session. Thanks, everybody. Everybody, later.